Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing this non-transforming action figure of Megatron for the last day of Transformers Week. Hello, human germs. It is I, the glorious Megatron, here to offer you my greetings, my laser greetings. And I couldn't help my Megatron impression, because I am Megatron. But yeah, he does have some articulation, arms move, no elbow bends, so arms do a full 360, head is on a ball joint. You're probably wondering, what series does this Megatron is based on? Generation 1 Megatron. He's got his fusion cannon. He's got his little trigger, his little barrel shoulder, like he did in G1. So this is based on the 1986 G1 design of Megatron. And just because it's Megatron, we're going to compare... A whole lot of Megatrons here today from different series. Because I got so many Megatrons, and we're going to show off how many I own. Transformers The Last Night movie Megatron. He's a good comparison. His first Michael Bay, that was the Michael Bay Last night, Megatron. Here we got the original 2007 Megatron. I like this version a lot. Okay, any others? We got the Authentics Bravo Megatron. He is bigger than that Megatron because he's Megatron. No matter what form he gains, he's going to be huge, man. Authentics Bravo Megatron, the deluxe one, which I do have. He's almost a leader size scale with the big ones in the back. Here he is next to his Combiner Wars transforming toy self. Why not? Dare I say, why not? His Cybertronian animated self, and we did in the movie Cybertronian self of Megatron. Okay, that's six Megatrons I've done for comparison. Here we got my War for Cybertron Siege Megatron. Not bad comparison. If I do say so myself, and I tried to duplicate his whole trigger shoulder not trigger, but his gun gun end of his gun cell. Little Authentic Bravo Megatron. Cyberverse Mace Megatron, because it's Megatron. Why not? And that's eight we've done. Here he is next to his Fall of Cybertron. Evolution Cell, a deluxe, and that makes nine. Man, quite a few Megatrons, right? Here he is next to his Construct Bots Megatron. I like this one as well. Why not? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 Megatrons. Next, next to his one-step changer, Cyberverse Megatron. It's precious. It's megatron -y precious. The Bumblebee movie Megatron, which he never got a G1 toy, but never got his self appeared in the Bumblebee movie. But yeah, this is based on the Cybertronian mode Michael Bay Megatron. In his tank mode, which I do like. 
because the original Revenge of the Fallen tank one is a total piece of junk, and I'm not going to buy it unless I get it for like five bucks complete or something. Uh, yep, here he is next to his deluxe Cyberverse tank self-incarnation. I like this figure a lot because he's pretty cool. Here he is next to his Cyberverse Deluxe original figure. He's got Energon Mace and his cannons twice as huge. Why not? Dare I say why not? And last but not least, his Dollar Tree incarnation, Decepticons Attack! This being the better version than this version, which ain't half bad. So how many Megatrons do I own this year? In total, you're probably wondering. Let's do a count and we'll tell you. But it's quite a few of them in general. We own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, we own... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen Megatrons we own here in twenty twenty three going to be 2024, so yeah, in 2023, we own 17 Megatron action figures. Ain't that awesome? I've collected more Megatrons in my collection than any, anything else here in anyone else in Pennsylvania. Because I love that tyrant Decepticon himself, Megatron. But if you like this video... Please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I've enjoyed showing off my epic Megatron collection and telling you how many I own this year. They are a lot of fun to transform, and it's rare I got some that don't transform, so those are my only two that don't transform. He's kind of almost like the Action Master Megatron, but in a bigger scale size, if you know what I mean by bigger. Sometimes bigger is better. But if I ever find that toy, it'll be a nice one to add. I just love Megatrons of any size and shape. And that's all there is going to be for this video. I'm going to show you off what we're going to do next week. Because I always try to do that for all of you. with some random Star Wars. First on the list, we got some random Star Wars. It's been a while since I've done some Star Wars on the channel. And we're going to throw in the Mandalorian mask I got for Christmas in the video. So stay tuned for when I do that. And some rescue heroes. Fi vehicles with figures. I just love rescue heroes, and I'm going to be doing these to put these straight on my shelf. So, yeah. And we will throw in a Marvel just for the fun of it. We're going to do Captain America. And the next bit of toys will be shown off next week. So stay tuned for when I do that video next week. And that's a lot of random figures to show off. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.